Hello, hello. It is Sarah Waggle, astrologer and leadership coach here for Moon Astrology Tarot, this time for the moon in Leo. This is March 19th through the 22nd. So the moon's going to ingress into Leo before, just before the sun moves into Aries and we have the spring equinox. So welcome to Aries season. Wahoo. Um, but also welcome to eclipse season and Mercury in pre-retrograde shadow. Um, so I feel like with this moon in Leo, of course, we'll have the moon in a fire sign, the sun in a fire sign. Uh, so things could heat up <laughs> um, quickly. And so have your wits about you um and be careful in potentially heated conversations um because mercury and aries um but also of course this moon will oppose uh right off the bat oppose pluto in aquarius so uh who knows what could happen there with regards to you know technology and um but also i think it's important to realize that when we have these moons in leo with Pluto and Aquarius, it's this like back and forth between the you being courageous to be yourself and the humanity as a whole um, on the other side, right? Leo gives Aquarius its courage. Um, Leo gives Aquarius its ego. Um, and so, you know, as we're building up to this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra that happens on the 25th, um, it could be like a really uh, in your face, harsh look at your relationships and how you are in those relationships or how those relationships are for you um, and whatnot. And so the invitation is to start thinking about what was coming up for you around mid-October of 2023, because that's when we had the solar eclipse in Libra. Um, and this, you know, what we want to think about is like, you know, uh, the axis at which we're working with. And in this case, Aries Libra. Um, and so as this full moon approaches, what's resurfacing also Mercury in pre-retrograde shadow. So we're going to be revisiting some things around and the pre-retrograde shadow begins as Mercury conjuncts the North node in Aries. So um, we're going to be really looking at this North Node Aries situation and what we are actually doing for ourselves or feeling for ourselves and how we show up for ourselves and in relationships and are the relationships that we're in or how we are being in relationships. Is that how we want to be? Is that, is that really what you want? If it is, great. If it's not, and you're being inauthentic with yourself or with the people or things that you're in relationship with, um, that's a whole other, you know, can of worms. I highly recommend if you are not working with a support person, whether it's a coach, a mentor, a, a therapist, a counselor, um, that you really consider taking that on for this year, this year is just going to be ongoing confusion. Um, and so, you know, it's not going to, it's not going to, the clarity isn't going to happen in the, the world. It's not going to happen in the astrology. It's going to happen when you choose it to happen. And I feel like that's where we're going with a lot of this is like us choosing how we want things to go, right? If you want to understand something, you're going to have to take that on yourself, right? And so um, we also have during this moon in Leo, um, Venus conjunct Saturn in Pisces. Remember that just because we're in Aries sun season, we still have a lot of Pisces energy and will for a majority of this Aries season. And so it's really important to um, recognize what's surfacing for you. I'm going to talk a lot about this. I have not recorded the Libra full moon yet, but I'm going to in the next 24 hours. Um, but it's really important to acknowledge and recognize where you can be more disciplined and responsible for how you want things to go. Um, and so also highly recommend look up the definition between motivation versus discipline. I feel like I'm about to take on a Jocko Willink role through this month. So 
Um, if you don't like breakup with your victimhood level coaching support, you might not want to watch me this month. If you're ready and you're ready to take on, um, you know, being more disciplined, uh, and we all have to do this, right? Y'all I'm going through this too. Um, I actually took on a, um, joy challenge last week because of just not experiencing the level of joy that I want to be experiencing currently. I was like, I was like, blah. Um, and really not feeling, you know, courageous or strong enough to do what I wanted to do. And so even, and especially somebody who is a practitioner, um, but even those of us who've been through transformation work, um, I've worked with the same, I floated between the same few coaches for most of my last six or so years of work. And it's because I know they won't, they won't let me slide on my bullshit. Um, and so I, I stick with them for a reason. Um, but, uh, so, you know, even the best of us have to be supported, have to, you know, take responsibility, have to continue to do our work. Um, you know, I can say that I, you know, broke up with my victimhood, but I still catch myself in it. Okay. So, you know, have the courage with this moon and Leo to, you know, take your life by the reins, take the reins of the horse, take the bull by the horns, however you want to look at it um, and be responsible, be disciplined to do the things you want to do. You've got a beautiful opportunity coming up in this Aries season to really move some shit forward. Um, and this moon in Leo is like a perfect little uh, catalyst um, to, you know, light the fire under your butt right to light the fire under your rocket ship however you know if you need to light the fire under your ass okay that works too um you know whatnot if that means your nutrition needs a cleanup maybe you need to start working out regularly maybe you need to actually do your artwork maybe you actually need to write your book maybe you actually need to record your podcast episode maybe you actually need to try using your spiritual gifts your clairs your psychic abilities you know, practice using them on other people, you know, get some test clients or something. Um, start writing some short stories, start writing chapters of your book, start drawing, start, you know, working with audio, whatever it is you're up to, um, you know, do, do the damn thing, <laughs> take responsibility, get disciplined about what you want to do. Okay. I have gone down that rabbit hole more than I thought I would. But my point is, is that, you know, we've, we've got an opportunity with this airy season and it starts with this moon and Leo. Um, yeah. And this is going to continue. This is Saturn and Pisces. Um, you know, Saturn and Pisces is asking us to be more disciplined with our spiritual practices, our spiritual connection to spirit connection to God, um, our spiritual body, um, and whatnot. It's really asking us to, you know, step up. So Anywho, hope you're loving the Admiral Sarah Chronicles. I'm having fun making them because I get to be a lot more chill and and just talk about Star Trek. Um, I will branch out. I'm going to stick with Star Trek for a hot minute, um, but I do have a few other um, Star Trek's kind of easy in this moment, and I have a lot going on in my life. Um, all good, all good. It's just, it's just a lot and, and, you know, kind of producing what I'm producing and whatnot and staying in my own routine and my own schedule and all of that. So hope y'all are doing amazing and loving this energy ride. Uh, let's see what's up in the Star Trek next gen tarot. Oh, we have the page of latinum in reverse. Ooh. Well, this is, of course, Dr. Rega, page of latinum in reverse. Hmm. Is there some fear around? being creative, being curious. Um, is there fear of like, fear of looking like you're less than, 
fear of looking like, well, fear of looking inferior or fear around fear around rabbit holes, like you're afraid to go there because you're afraid it'll be like a, an addiction or um, not an addiction, but like a, a, a um, infatuation, um, fear. I feel like it's about fear. And I know there's a lot of fear mongering happening right now. Um, so what I would say is lean into the courage of the lion and the will and the the will of the dragon we are in the year of the dragon uh, <clears throat> you know lean into that lean into the people who will support you in being fearless um yeah I feel like that just brought up a lot of fear and i get it and the only way to conquer fear is to take action on what you want to go after. And if you don't know what that is, again, self-discovery, um, you know, there's just lots of opportunity to really tune into what you want to do. And if you're pissed off and you're frustrated, I get it. And the only way through it is to go through it. Um, and maybe that means like being disciplined to being responsible to take on practices. Like I just impromptu decided to do the joy challenge. It was literally, I knew it was coming, but I had kind of forgotten about it. And the person who was running it messaged me that Sunday and said, this starts tomorrow. And I'm like, okay. And she offered me a free pass. And then I just decided to dive in like, nope, I need this. Let me just do this. So sometimes it's kind of like, you gotta just make a choice in the moment and be like, I'm going to do this. And let me just tell you that this was not an easy undertaking. It wasn't an easy commitment because of the things I had going on in life, but I showed up every, and it ended up being, it was supposed to be five days and ended up being six days. And I showed up every day and I was very proud of that, except for one day that I couldn't cause I had a commitment, but, um, you know, and it was, it's one of those things where if you're scared right now, the only thing you can do is jump into something that will, you know, shift it. You've got to be the one to take the jackhammer and break up the cement or the asphalt or whatever. You're the one that's going to have to go in with the dynamite and bust it out. And you can do it. I freaking believe in you. I freaking believe in you. <clears throat> And be attentive to who's in your corner. Do are the people do the people in your corner believe in you? If not, then you need to find some people to do. Because trust me, the people in my closest physical vicinity, I guarantee you, <laughs> they 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 are not with me where I'm at. It's okay. They're my family. I'm not gonna. But I have to have people in my corner to connect with who get where I'm at. Um, we got the antelope and wheat. Ooh, that's interesting. Hold on. I need a bit more mag. This is, oh, nourishment. Well, that makes sense with wheat. Oh, I like this. What are you doing to nourish your soul? What are you doing to nourish your passions what are you doing to actually nourish your body um yeah and this is airy season so it really is about like taking care of your physical being yes aries aries doesn't particularly rule the body per se but it does rule the i am um and so as we're kind of moving into this like what are you doing to nourish the uh, the five bodies there are, we have five bodies. We have the physical body. We have the mental body. We have the emotional body, the spiritual body and the energetic body. This is in my book that's coming up. Um, but what are you doing to ensure that you are nourishing all aspects of your body? Are you eating well and staying hydrated? Are you studying and learning and broadening your mental capacities? 
Um, or are you slowing down when you feel like you need to slow down? Are you processing emotions and, you know, giving your emotions safe spaces and safe times to express themselves? Are you nourishing your spiritual self? Are you trying on spiritual practices, whether it's crystals, oils, saging, smudging, um, cleansings, um, whatnot? And then are you nourishing your energetic body and your energetic body is that that space that's six feet around you? So it's who you are physically around, right? So it's who you who you are around. Um, and as we lean into this Libra eclipse, it really is about relationships, right? So um, I love this, the antelope and wheat nourishment. I love that so much because it's the nourishment that supports you in conquering the fear from the page of latinum in reverse. Um, so let's see what oil is on the menu. <laughs> um, I'm excited about this airy season. I'm not even going to lie. I'm excited about it. Okay. I do have a new video series coming up soon, but I'm waiting for something else to come in the mail um, to do that. So I haven't, I haven't neglected it. I just haven't done it. Uh, Marjoram. Um, soothes and comforts um i'm not one to have marjoram on hand but soothes and comforts yeah i feel like back to that like nourishment and the emotional body um because there's still a sizable amount of grieving going on as we're letting go of stuff remember we still have a lot going on in pisces so there's still grieving going on there's still a lot of of cleansing there's still a lot of grief of forgiving and letting go and that's just hard to do it's not it's not an easy process um so you know do some meditation around forgiveness do some meditation around grieving um and soothing and supporting i mean i feel like chamomile would be good here too um or whatever you feel is soothing that's like plant-ish um you know which could very easily be plant-based ice cream. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> um, but my point is, is like, you want to, you want to, you know, tune into something that would soothe you and support you. Maybe that is even like just walking barefoot in grass um, or whatever that soothes and supports. Again, I'm not, a, not somebody who typically has marjoram on hand, but I think like, you know, whatever you feel like would align for you to have something that soothes and supports. Maybe you need to soothe your inner child. Maybe you need to soothe your ego. Um, but a lot of this is around like letting go, nourishing to conquer fear, right? What's your fear around letting something go, right? What's your fear around taking the next action? We all get this. This isn't just, you know, me talking to you. This is me too, um, you know, I'm in this too. I'm, I'm going through my own over here. And so, you know, there's that. Um, anywho, so that's the Leo moon. It's a lot of energy. It's going to continue to be a lot of energy. Um, and you know, so anyway, <clears throat> be on the lookout for the next episode of Admiral Sarah's Chronicles and the Libra lunar, full moon lunar eclipse. Um, like I said, I'll be getting that one done shortly. It may even be recorded by the time I, this video airs. It's not recorded at the time of this recording, however. So um, thank you for your patience. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm moving through my own stuff over here and I appreciate your patience. I do try to get my videos out timely, but it just doesn't always happen because I have life things going on too. So anywho, thank you for tuning into my channel. Please feel free to drop comments and, and like videos and things like that. It's really helpful to the algorithm. It also just lets me know you're out there and you're, you're hearing it and it's resonating. And, and, and even if it's just a thank you so much, I, you know, I appreciate that um, just as much as anything else. So anyway, I'll talk to you on the next video.